Pokemon, Pokemon. All right, adventurers. Welcome to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon. Ooh, I almost said Soul Silver. Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Here's the team. I don't know if you guys remember. Nothing much has changed. Uh, just a few level ups. I haven't done any training between last episode and this one. And we're going to continue here in Slateport City. It's actually a really big city. There's a lot we can do for exploration. Starting at the Name Raider's house. If we need to change anybody's nickname, which we won't, uh, we can go there to the Name Raider's house. This house, this building here, this is the Pokemon Fan Club. Let's run in there. I wonder if they should know anything about Champion, bon uh, Champion Bound Chill. I almost asked that Zigzagoon. As if it was going to tell me something. The uh, Pokemon enjoy having items used on them? Mine acted really happy when I gave it some protein. Oh, yeah? Let's talk to this woman. I love seeing Pokemon that love their trainers. Pokemon are very sensitive to the feelings of their trainers. If you treat your Pokemon with love and care, they'll love you back. When your Pokemon grow to love you, please come show me. Your Pokemon really adores you. For you, a most... Compassionate trainer, a gift from the fan club. We got the Soothe Bell. That's a pretty dope item. Let's give that to somebody. Uh, I don't think anybody here really needs the Soothe Bell. I'm going to give it to... Uh, let's give it to Beacon, though. Let's give it to Beacon. When someone, someone who needs the Soothe Bell comes along, what it does is it increases friendship as it's held and things like that. When someone that requires friendship comes along, then I'll take it from Beacon. Let's talk to this man. If you keep letting a Pokemon faint in battle, it'll come to resent it. Soon, it'll become less trusting of the trainer. In other words, it certainly won't like you very much. I mean, you can't like it, can't like him too much if you're dead. Wow, it's plain to see that you, you're a lavish. Uh, uh, let's try it again. It's plain to see that you lavish your love on your Butterfree. Okay, it's named Magic. Can I ask you a favor? I'm a TV reporter, and I'm running a survey on Pokemon. Would you be willing to answer a few simple questions for me? Sure. Great, thank you. Okay, here goes. I just need quick answers, okay? Your Butterfree is cared for lovingly. If you were to liken it to something that you like, what would it be? Uh, food. It has to be a food. It has to be a food. Do we have food on this list? Uh, this, what these, what the, all of this here? <laughs> what all this here is? It's different words that I can choose. I can't input my words uh, by typing them out. I can only choose from certain things. Specifically, I can only choose from things that I've seen as text come up. So, for example, trainer, egg, egg is a word that has come up. Egg hasn't come up yet, has it? I don't think so. That's weird. Uh, I can only choose from certain things. Uh, so let's see. Love of love of our butterfree. I'm gonna say nature. Nature is it's it's just natural that I that I love butterfree. Magic the butterfree. Okay, that makes sense. The next question might be a little on the tough side. Here it goes. What do Pokemon mean to you? What do Pokemon mean to me? That's actually a very interesting question. Uh, let's see. Everything here is sorted by uh, what kind of word it is. So, for example, if I go into greetings, everything in here is going to be a different kind of greeting. So, you could either apologize, you could say bye bye, come over, all of that. What if I want to change it? I can change it to ABCs. I can change the alphabets, I should say. Alphabetical uh, arrangements. The hell she asked me? Oh, what do I think about Pokemon? Uh, let's see. Is the word that I'm thinking in here? Adventure. That's exactly the word I was looking for. I see. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for helping me out. It was fun and enlightening chatting with you. It's possible that our interview will end up on TV. Tune in and check. Okay. That's all. Bye bye. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks, ma'am. Uh, we didn't talk to this gent. Let's talk to him. <laughs> I am the chairman of the Pokemon Fan Club. Being the chairman, I am naturally the most important. No one could best me when it comes to raising Pokemon. No one in any contest. My victory is a foregone conclusion, but that would deprive others of their enjoyment. So I now while away my time. 
Oh, okay. I see what he's saying. I'm going to say, that doesn't... I get it. I now while away. What he's saying he does is while away. It's a phrase. It's a verbal phrase. I now while away my time examining the Pokemon of others. It is marvelous to witness how others have raised Pokemon. The contented faces of properly raised Pokemon. The kind and loving gazes of their trainers. My heart is overwhelmed. There is so much happiness. Oh my, excuse me, I seem to have nattered on for far too long. Please, do allow me to examine your Pokemon and see how it's grown. Hmm, hmm, I see. Hmm, it's not bad, but it's not good either. You, the trainer, must put more effort into raising this Pokemon. For instance, may I suggest that you give it more Pokeblocks? We'll be doing that soon, alright? We'll be doing that. Give me, just give me, we gotta progress a little bit. We gotta progress a little bit. Okay, so obviously there's a Pokemon Center, there's a Mart, and then down here in the market, or in Slateport <laughs> City, we have a market. Let's talk to this man. Do you know the TM Secret Power? Our group, we love the TM Secret Power. One of our members will give it to you. Come back and show me if you get it. We'll accept you as a member and sell you good stuff in secrecy. All right, so there's this mark that's all out in the open. But we can't buy anything from it because we don't have the TM. Ooh, it's randomized. We might not get the TM secret power at all. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. There's this man here. The light of the lighthouse reaches dozens of miles away. I wonder if it doesn't startle Pokemon in the sea. It might. It might. It might be a natural environmental hazard. Do you know what they do to with old sails that become too creaky to sail? They sink them in the sea so they become habitats for Pokemon. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. What's in this house? My Pokemon has a hasty nature. It has higher speed compared to my other Pokemon. Maybe their nature has something to do with the stat game, the Pokemon. Oh, yeah? You need a contest pass to enter a contest. It's easy to get. They give it to anyone who has Pokemon. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Let's go get us a contest pass, then. Let's go get us a contest pass. This is a contest hall. It's a really cool building. This is the hyper rank. Dope. Let's run in here and get us a contest pass. Hello there. We're accepting registrations for hyper rank Pokemon contests. Anyone with the contest pass may enter. You may obtain a contest pass at the normal rank contest hall in Verdant Turf Town, free of charge. Please obtain a contest pass and come again. Okay, so we can't do nothing here. Moving on. Okay, so what else can we do here in Slateport Town? There's these people here outside this building. The Endless Sea sustains all life. Oceanic M uh, Museum. Alright, well, it looks like they're blocking us, so let's see if we can head in this building. Stern Shipyard. We actually needed to, uh, we actually needed to deliver these parts, didn't we? Hmm. If this goes here, and that goes over there, then where does this thing go? And what about that doohickey? Ah! I can't make heads or tails of this. Hmm? Hi, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to design a ferry. Oh, that there? Are those Devon goods? Hmm. This won't do. Captain Stern went off somewhere. He said he had some work to do. Can I get you to find Captain Stern and deliver that to him? Well, we've been everywhere else here in Sleepport City. And we haven't seen Stern. Oh, wait, the people are gone. Let's head inside here. Yeah, I know. Oh, they are in here now. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. The entrance fee is $50. Would you like dinner? You're not going to give me a choice. All right. This place is pretty dope. A strange machine is rotating under a glass dome. Maybe it's for measuring the depth of something. This is my jam. Where's this? For? Oh, this is a, a mix on, what, the St. Anne song, I believe? Everybody, everybody, we're, we're enjoying the museum for a hot second. It's a fossil with wavy ridges on it. Soil on the ocean floor. Gets scoured by the tide. The flowing seawater marks the soil with small ridges and valleys. If this soil becomes fossilized. It is called a ripple mark. Dope. 
Hey, they got a submarine, a UFO. Is that the SS Anne? It's the Fairy SS title. Okay. A scale replica of the ship under construction at Stern Shipyard. Submarine Explorer 1. A replica of the high performance ocean floor exploration submarine. And this is a submersible pod. A replica of the compact unmanned pod for seafloor exploration. Dope. Hey, man. Who are you? Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, that must be the part I ordered from Mr. Stone of Devon. Thank you. That's great. We can prepare for our expedition now. Uh-oh. These people. Hey, hey, hold it. We'll take those parts. What? Who are you people? We're Team Magma. Our boss wants those parts. Shut your yap and fork them over. No, bruh. It's not going down like that. Let's go. Come get this work, fam. A Bulbasaur. He sends out a Bulbasaur against our magic. All right. Here's confusion. Come on. Na, 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 na. Sleep powder. It didn't work. Oh, you silly Bulbasaur. You silly Bulbasaur. I don't know what you was thinking, but you thought wrong. And Magma Grin is down. Ah, a kid beat me. Oh man, what a disaster. The boss is going to be furious. Oh, sniveling whip. Let me take care of this. You can get this work too, fam. I'm in a work delivering kind of mood right now. Here we go. A swine up. All right. Uh, let's see. Ice and ground. We actually don't have anybody with a with a statistic. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, a type advantage. Let's see. How about if we confuse it? No. Come on, magic. Come on, magic. It's a crit. There we go. Supersonic the second time around. No more. Hurt itself. Good. All right, let's see what we got. Poison powder stun spore. Poison powder stun spore. Here's poison powder. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Two for two. And the poison damage. All right, Magic, finish it up. Finish it up. Good work. Yes, Magic to 19. Who's next? A Clefairy. A Clefairy. Here's a Supersonic. Come on. Yes, three for three. And stun spore. Because I feel like that confusion is going to lift. Na, 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 na. Come on. Damn. Okay, that's fine. Here's the confusion. Come on, magic. Come through, magic. Uh oh. It didn't do a lot. There we go. And then this should be it. If the confusion doesn't lift, we have a chance of this being... There we go. There we go. Good work. Mm, good work. All right. What now? Now what? If we don't get the parts, we're in for it. Ah, I didn't count on being metal with some by some meddling kid. I came to see what was taking so long to snatch some parts, and you simps are held up by a mere child? I am Team Magma's Maxi. Why on earth do you feel compelled to mess up Team Magma's plans? Pokemon, people, all life exists on land. That's why Team Magma is trying to expand the world's landmass. Don't you agree? What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. Well, no matter, you're young. Your inability to understand us, no bill. Uh, I'm slipping today. Your inability to understand our noble cause can't be helped. 
But if you were to impede us ever again, you shall see no mercy from us. Keep that firmly in mind. Farewell. You're... Ah, okay, you're chill. Anyway, that was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Oh, yes, I almost forgot that you even brought the, de the parts from Devin. Mission complete. Whoops, there's no time to lose. We have to set out on our ocean floor expedition really soon. Thanks, and excuse me. All right. So we completed yet another goal. We delivered the dev. Hey, what is this man? Sir. Sir. What are you doing here? Hey, what are you doing here? Me? I'm the Team Magma member you dumped before, remember? Here, take this. You have to forgive me. We got TM46. Is this better or worse than what we normally get? Ah, darn it. You're so screwed. You so screwed up our plans. I was going to rip off something to make up for it, but... Just you wait. You'll get yours one day. To be honest, I hope not. That would mean we lose the Nuzlocke. All right, what's that, TM46? Double team. Which one of y'all suckers can learn double team? Just magic. Okay. Moving on. Uh, we're done here in the museum. And I guess that means there's nothing really keeping us from progressing. Okay, there's no gem here in... Where's this land? There's no gem here in Slateport City. So I guess that means we can head north from here. On the Route 11, we can get us a new encounter. And eventually, we can make our way to Mauville City. Actually, let's see about getting a Route 110 encounter right now. We can make that another thing we accomplished today. Uh, do I need to save? I, I need to heal. Because I know someone's going to come out of nowhere and ruin things. Give me a second. All right, so we're ready to go. Let's see. Ooh, we should stock up on Pokeballs. We got a lot of money now. We just stock up on everything, really. Let's do some stocking up. What we going to buy? What we going to buy? What we going to buy? Let's buy some great balls. How many can we buy? We can buy eight, so we're only going to buy four. And then after that, we can buy, what, three super potions? And then everything else, we should be good. All the medicine and whatnot, we should be fine. All right, dope. So now we're going to head out from Slate Port City. We're going to head north to Route 110 and potentially get an encounter. I'm going to put... I put I'll leave magic up front because we have poison power to deal damage progressively. All right, Route 10 encounter. That was quick. Here we go. It's an Electrike. I believe this is actually the area where you start to run into Electrike too. That's pretty dope. Uh, let's see. Let's poison the little sucker. We can use an Electrite, then we can finally deal with water types. We can finally deal with water types. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get magic out of there. I cannot lose magic to uh, Thundershock, Thunderbolt, whatever, whatever it knows. I'm going to put Sure in. Sure should be able to tank it. All right. I believe this is the first time seeing you sure in battle since it evolved. Come on. All right, let's get to throwing some balls. What we got? What we got? Uh, let's start with a Pokeball. Let's start there. All right. That's pretty dope. We got an Electric on the team. This is our first one past us having a full team. Electrike the Lightning Pokemon. Electrike stores electricity in its long body hair. This Pokemon sim uh, stimulates its leg muscles with electric charges. The j these jolts of power give its legs explosive acceleration performance. That's pretty dope. Electrike. Well, that was easy. This is Jolt. Jolt the Electrike. He's in the PC. Dope. All right, let's go check them out. Let's go look at those stats, and then we can call it. We can call it as we progress towards uh, Route 10, 110, so that we can get to Marvel City. I had to think about it. Like I said, we, we started with Gen 3. We're reaching the games where I didn't play them so much growing up. Oh, he's in the wrong box. Let's move on. I didn't play them so much growing up because I was already nearly 
grown up. And as a result, I'm not so familiar. But that's all right. This is Jolt the Electric, the relaxed electric with a lightning rod ability. Let's check the stats. Jolt could have a place on the team. Jolt could have a place on the team. Uh, and the attacks tackle Thunder Wave, Lear, and Howl. We didn't really have anything to worry about when it came to uh, magic getting hit by electric attack. Nothing that dealt damage. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, guys, we're going to call it here. We're going to call it here for this episode. If you enjoyed this episode of the Ruby Nuzlocke and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's a subscribe button. And turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video posts to the channel or whenever we do something like a live stream. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play. I'm pretty sure you can hear that in the background. Well, that does it for recording for today. Responding to the comments to Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke Episode 4. Couple RIPs, they will be missed. Definitely, I cannot stand when I lose a partner of the team, especially in the first gym. I already knew, I already knew the first gym was going to be ridiculous. I already knew it was going to be a problem. R.I.P. the monster. Hey, uh, the monster's not the only one that died this episode. Oh, awkward.